Heel and toe shifting is an advanced driving technique that is used by racing drivers across the globe. It is the art of how to downshift smoothly, whilst keeping the car balanced through the gear changing process. Some of the greatest racing drivers across varying disciplines use this technique, and it is a skill you should perfect as soon as possible to take your driving to the next level. In this video we will be discussing how heel toe shifting works, why to use it, and at the end I will be teaching you exactly how to do it. So make sure you stay tuned because heel toe shifting is vital if you want to improve your driving. The heel toe shifting method gets its name from pre World War II cars that had the accelerator pedal in a central position, in between the clutch to the left and the brake to the right. This meant that drivers were able to use the heel of the right foot to engage the brake while simultaneously using the toe to operate the accelerator. Nowadays, heel towing means the opposite. When performance driving, we must downshift to a lower gear whilst maintaining braking. This must be done smoothly, without upsetting the balance of the car. If we simply dropped a gear and let out the clutch while braking heavily, the car would nosedive, upsetting the balance. Not only this, but it would also try to lock the driving wheels because of the extra engine braking. The smoothest downshifts occur when the engine revs are increased beforehand. This is done by briefly applying or stabbing the accelerator with your right foot. This is what is known as blipping the throttle. This matches the engine RPM with the wheels RPM, thus resulting in no engine braking. I hope that makes sense. You can actually practice these smooth downshifts without needing to heel toe. You just need to be on a straight bit of road, put the clutch in, downshift, blip the throttle and then let the clutch out. With a bit of practice you'll get this part easily and you'll notice how much smoother each downshift is. Once you get the hang of it you won't want to go back to downshifting normally. However the tricky part is doing this style of downshift whilst also maintaining braking. This requires a technique known as heel toe downshifting. Up next I'll be teaching you exactly how to do the heel toe technique. But first I want to take up to 10 seconds of this video to remind you to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video. Only a tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed so it would mean a lot if you did. Thank you. Up next I'm going to give you a step by step explanation on how to heel toe downshift. But make sure you stay tuned afterwards because there is a bunch of useful information that you need to know before giving it a go yourselves. So step 1. Begin braking using the ball of your right foot on the brake pedal while keeping a small portion of the right side of your foot covering the accelerator. However you should not be pushing the accelerator just yet. Step 2. Depress the clutch pedal with your left foot whilst maintaining braking. Step 3. Move the shifter into the next lower gear while still maintaining braking. Step 4. Whilst continuing braking with the clutch pedal still depressed, pivot or roll your right foot at the ankle, quickly pushing or blipping the throttle. Step 5. Quickly ease out the clutch whilst maintaining braking. Step 6. Complete your braking and enter the corner. It's important to apply a consistent brake pressure all the way through this manoeuvre. You are simply pivoting the right foot to blip the throttle whilst braking at the same time. This blipping of the throttle is one of the most important aspects. You want to match the speed of your engine with the speed of the gear you are selecting. And you can't watch the tachometer. Your eyes must be looking ahead. So correct blipping of the throttle and matching the revs depends on practice and input from the ears and the force through your wheel. If you don't blip enough, the driving wheels will lock up when the clutch is re-engaged. That will cause big problems. Conversely, if you blip too much, the car will attempt to accelerate when you are supposed to be slowing down. The best way is to rev up the engine slightly higher than is required. Select the required gear and quickly engage the clutch as the revs drop. It's going to take practice, constant practice. It may seem like a lot to do at once, but once you get the hang of it, it will become second nature. There isn't a successful race driver in the world who doesn't heel toe on every downshift. And it can be practiced every day on the street too. In fact, that's the only way to drive all the time. So now you're ready to get out there and practice heel towing. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and let me know what you thought in the comments. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button for more Assetto Corsa Toge tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.